Hello. I didn't see you there. How's it growing? Happy New Year. Let me bring you over here. Welcome to another video, and more important, welcome to 2023. If you're new round these parts, my name's Graham, and welcome to my YouTube channel, the home of horticultural happiness. I've been practicing growing my own fruit and vegetables for just under a year now. I have two allotment plots now. I have a full size one here, and I have a half size one just down the driveway there, based in the Warwickshire countryside in the UK. In today's video, the first video for 2023, I want to show you my top three jobs for the allotment in the winter. And by this, I mean simply getting the basics done so that when springtime comes around, I'm not massively overwhelmed by all the jobs that need doing. I can just get on with doing all the good stuff like sowing and planting. Speaking of overwhelmed, Check out some of my videos for this time a year ago. I was having an absolute nightmare when I first took on this allotment plus. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was all over the place doing various different jobs. Well, let me tell you, history is not going to repeat itself this year. This year I'm going in with a cool, calm and grounded mindset, if you pardon the pun. So I've broken it down into my top three essential jobs based upon what I've learned so far. I've only had the allotment for a year, but I have learned quite a lot in a year. So without further ado, let's dig in, if you pardon the pun. I'm not joking, I've never seen it so busy down the allotment. Before I start with this top three, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each job individually, do them on this allotment plot, and then do it on the half plot down there so that I can get a sense of completion as I'm going along. And one fun thing that I thought I'd do this time is count the amount of steps that I'm doing on the allotment today so I can see how many calories I've burned at the end of the day, which is always a good thing to do, particularly as I'm trying to lose a bit of timber this January. So let's get on with my top three essential jobs that I need to do in my allotment plot this winter. Number one, perfecting my pathways. I'm a huge fan of wood chip pathways. Wood chippings are free at this allotment, so it makes sense for me to use them. To be fair, there were slabs down here in this allotment plot before, but they were all uneven and started pocketing water. I did try and level them out with wood chippings, but they, I still couldn't get it right. And it was getting really annoying, so I thought I'd put two or three centimeters of wood chippings all along the pathways, and this has pretty much solved my water logging problem. So let's get on with job number one on the full size plot. To be honest with you, there isn't much to do in terms of the pathways on this plot. Most of it's wood chipped. I did it about October time. I did put a bit of an extra layer on where I built these beds here. But I think it could do with just a little top up, just in a few parts, particularly this part here. That does get a little bit waterlogged in that corner there. So to some of you, I may look like some sort of surgeon, but what I thought I'd do this year is add an additional dimension to my videos and have a little head cam as we go as well, so I can give you a head cam view of exactly what I'm doing. It does feel a bit weird, and there are a couple of people around here at the allotment, so I'm not sure what they're gonna think of me, but come with me while I go and get some more wood chippings via the head cam. Let's go. Had a bit of flooding issues at the entrance of the allotment so second half of this wheelbarrow i just used to put an extra layer on top of there take a look there we go not a massive amount to see oh, God, it does feel great to be back on the vlog 2023 
getting my allotment sorted, ready for the growing season. I can't wait, it's super exciting, and I'm glad you're with me. I think I've done that plot and we can move on to the one further down the driveway. Let's go. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this plastic. I was going to put this down underneath the wood chippings, but I've decided I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to put the wood chippings directly onto the soil. It's only a few yards down from a half allotment plot. There's this lovely pile of wood chippings here. Lucky me. So let's get putting these in the wheelbarrow and get those pathways done as soon as we can. Feeling a bit chipper now, if you pardon the pun. Check this out. There we go, look at that. So I've got some wood chippings on all these pathways now. So it means I can walk around without getting my feet all muddy, which is what was happening before. Right, so that's job number one, getting your pathways sorted. Job number two, get your beds prepared. So in my other allotment plot, there isn't really too much to see because all my beds are prepared and they're full of onions and shallots. So I'm not going to walk all the way back up there to show you that. I don't think I need to. But look at the beds on this plot. So I've done the ones on the top there. I've basically put cardboard down at the bottom and then I put some horse manure and some leaves on there. I've done the same thing on here, but I've got these beds here which are pretty much just left with soil at the moment. And these need filling up this one and this one. I'm not going to disturb any of the soil that I've got there. Let's get the leaves and the muck on the beds. So I'm really pleased with that job. Um, and to tell you the truth, it probably took about an hour or so for me to do some wheelbarrowing backwards and forwards to get the leaves and the muck on there. I guess whatever nutrients you can put into the soil this time of year, it's got to be a good thing. I haven't dug it over or anything like that. I'm not going to disturb any of the soil. I just threw all the leaf mulch and the muck on top. That's job number two, complete on both plots on my top three winter allotment jobs. And my third one is make sure your plot's safe. Now I know that sounds like a bit of a strange thing, but sometimes get some storms, we sometimes get some snow. Important to make sure that you've got nothing that can potentially be blowing around. So let's quickly go around this half plot and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for example, I've got this plastic here um, that I've taken up from the beds. I just want to make sure that it's safe. So I've just put some rocks and some bricks over it. At the back here, again, I've got some more plastic. I've chucked some bricks on it to make sure it's safe. This shelter is in progress. Just to make sure, I'm going to put a couple of little pieces of wood across here, just on an angle. So there we go, another piece of wood like that, just to make sure this back bit doesn't blow through. Not that it will anyway because it's all safe. A quick kick around on the each of the beds, make sure everything looks okay. I have got some bits of materials that I'm using here to do the shelter. I'll just chuck some extra pieces of wood on there to make sure that's okay, but that, none of that's gonna move anyway. It's gonna take some pretty strong winds for any of that to lift up head cam on for you one last time so we can go to the main plot and do some final checks up there. So here I am back at the main plot just a few hundred from the half plot down the road there. There's a couple of jobs I want to do on this plot just to make sure that everything's okay from a safety perspective. If I take you inside the polytunnel, look if I rock my polytunnel, yeah it moves around a bit but there's no way this is going to be lifted unless there's going to be some really heavy winds. I'm not entirely sure how sturdy this polytunnel would have been if I hadn't have put these wooden frames on, if I'm honest with you. Um, I wouldn't feel too confident that it would probably even last a couple of years, but I think put adding these frames has definitely given it some longevity and it will definitely do for 2023. So yeah, just having a quick look round, see how I've clipped these wooden 
frames onto the metal poles just to stop them from moving around I've put a pole across there and I put a support all along the top there I'm feeling pretty confident in terms of the way the polytunnel is going to be this year um, I also think if you get some high winds I think it's going to be okay as well so it's not really something I need to worry about but I just wanted to have a quick check round and make sure that everything looks okay which it does outside on the plot um, the one thing that's different with this allotment plot to the other one is I put a fence all around the outside I know you probably may not be able to see too well because I know we're losing the light a little bit um, but I've put a fence all the way around the outside to try and stop any intruders a job that's probably worth doing is me just going around just giving them a quick knock in just making sure that everything's safe and secure I've got to be honest with you I've gone around the allotment and all of them have probably been knocked in about this much so that was a job that definitely needed doing so my fencing is a lot more secure now <laughs> there you have it those are my three top allotment jobs for the winter so now i can relax and just let winter take its toll it's been really rewarding coming on the allotment plot today and spending some time as i promised at the start of the video i'd record the steps that i've done today while i've been down the allotment doing these jobs and it comes to 7141 steps which is quite a lot of steps to be fair average person burns around about 40 calories per thousand steps so i've burned around about 280 calories today which is equal to one and a half pints of beer or a large and a half glass of wine what an absolute result so you know what i'm gonna do when i get home i'm gonna have one of each if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already done so hit the subscribe button because it's going to be a great 2023 thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one